G'day Spider Hunter, ehpfitness.com. Uh, I've got a bit of a lesson for you today. Uh, I had a really interesting Twitter conversation uh, with a guy and he said he had uh, been injured and the only thing that was stopping him was his own limitations. And I tweeted him back and said, mate, that's fantastic. That is a very, uh, one of the most important foundational things that you need is a really, really clear mindset about something. So today we're going back to the classroom and hopefully I can provide some insight for you into uh, your mind can only comprehend what your eyes can see. So I'll see you in a tick with a uh, whiteboard marker. Right, we're back with a whiteboard. And I want to clarify a little bit of what I was mentioning earlier. Basically with our stick figure here, you can see that above it is you, your mind can only comprehend what your eyes can see. And I've got a picture here with outlining what you can see and what you, your perception is of what you can see in front of you. Your perception is altered by your beliefs, your visual, uh, what you can see visually, what you take in auditory, uh, what your senses are kinesthetically, your feel, taste, touch. Uh, all of those have an impact on what you can see, which, oh, and which has an impact on what you comprehend in your brain. Uh, I will tie it all into fitness and health later, but at this stage, just bear with me while I do my best to explain this. Um, your ability right now is to see that much. As an example, what your goal should be, and it is a big should, is you want to expand that awareness over your lifetime into a 360. Rather than just be at this much or at 180, you want to try and get to become a 360 whole visual cortex where you can sense, taste, touch things in a whole context as opposed to what you can just see in this much frame here. And why that's important is because your ability to see will determine your ability to be successful in not only in what you choose to do in life, but in fitness and fat loss. Uh, your body is a, your body shape is relative to your fitness and fat loss IQ because if you knew uh, more then you would have a different physique to represent what you know um, there is a bridging of the gap of doing what you know I understand that but for this for simplicity we'll just keep it with uh, your IQ is relative to your body shape just as your bank balance is relative to your financial IQ as well. So there's relative terms in lots of different things. Um, what you also need to understand is that what I see and what you see can be completely two different things because of our understanding or our ability, our comprehension. Now that's really, really important because you as a person on a fitness and fat loss and health journey, you need to expand your awareness on many different facets of nutrition, of mindset, of exercise, of muscle, of uh, how the system works. You don't need to be an expert in those areas, but you need to have a f comprehension, foundation comprehension of those sorts of things and how you perceive them to be for you. Because they will bring up certain things in you that you will be distorted, have a distorted opinion about. For example, you might perceive squats are bad. That is an opinion you've gathered and you've taken on from somewhere, so you perceive that to be true. You may have a perception that dieting is bad, food is bad, people are bad. Whatever it is, all I'm saying is that you need to expand your awareness so you can have a 360 degrees because you're missing out on all of this stuff here because you are living in a life of visual, visual cortex of that much as opposed to a 360. I'm not here to say I am 360, my progression in life is expanding every day in this, in this cortex here as opposed to just once upon a time and still can be very limited to the blind design. So that's the tip today, expand your awareness, it's got everything to do with fitness and fat loss, hopefully you can see it, if you have any questions let me know, uh, Spider Hunter, EHP Fitness, Matua, Tanifa.